Hello guys, hello fans all over the world. Welcome to another edition of this tutorial. I posted this video and a lot of my fans asked me how I achieved this, asked the softwares that I used to achieve this. So I'm just here to answer most of those questions to give us a brief, a little brief on how I achieved this. So that is um, the reason of our tutorial today. In case you are first time on this channel, please, I would like you to kindly like, share, comment, and subscribe to en enable us grow and drop other subsequent video. Okay, this is the raw file. I used Revit 2021 to do all my plans, floor plans, upper floor plans, and the modeling. Look at it, this is a raw file for it. And this is Revit 2021 because of my systems and um, description. I'm using Revit 2021. I don't know what you are using and what your system can carry. You can still achieve the same results. So after I did my floor plans, my first floor plans, and all my model in Revit, I now transferred it to Lumion. This is a Lumion file for it. And I, I am using Lumion 10.3.2 because of my system's description, because Lumion is a very big file. It needs a very strong system to work with. So I am using Lumion 10.3.2 so any Lumion version that is um, okay with your system you can use it so those are the three software uh, sorry the two softwares that I used to achieve my um, contemporary three bedroom building design so for most of us that needed the software um, the, the type of software that I used I used Revit 2021 and Lumion so quickly let, let us go let me show you a brief let me see if i can answer most of your questions let me just take you through a little brief of how what and what i did what i applied to achieve that so um this is my floor plan yes this is my floor plan and my floor plan this is the veranda and this is the entrance to the ante room this is the ante room and this area is the ante room. So this is the visitor's toilet here. So from the ante room, you can assess the main living room. The living room is about 4.9 meters by 6.3 meters. Then at the back of the living room, we have a dining. The whole of this space is dining, about three meters by 4.9 meters, <laughs> as described by my clients. So just here, you can have, I have a little lobby of about 1.4 by 1.2 from this lobby you can assess the um the kitchen sorry i've not labeled it yeah so this is the kitchen area and the kitchen area has a store area assessed from this door here and it has the backyard terrace assessed from this other door here so coming back to this um this little lobby can assess the guest um, room, the visitor's room. The visitor's room has a little closet, wardrobe, and a toilet. So from this staircase, we can assess our first floor, which is level two. So let's go to level two. So this is level two. This is a staircase to um. This is a staircase that linked that links both level one and level two. Remember this place was a dining at the ground floor level, but at the upper floor level, there is nothing here. So from the staircase, you assess this little lobby, the landing. Then from here, you can assess this big lounge. You know, it is a private lounge, private living room. Yeah. And from this little lobby here, you can assess the master's bedroom. And the master's bedroom has its bigger closet 
it has its bigger um, um, toilets, that's WC. And I, I curved this place. I made this place to be triangular so that it will not just be an ordinary shaped building. This is the effect of that place. At the veranda, I made that place triangular. Let me let me select this wall so that you can see what I mean. So I didn't just want it to be a normal wall, so I made that place triangular. That's what is running now. And it gave and it gave it this contemporary look for that veranda for that um, terrace. So that's how I cut this place. So according to my client's description, he could he can store anything here. He can it's just uh, like a second um, closet for him. So he told me that there's something that he wants to store here. So I had to just make that place like a V or triangular shape which and which gave it a very nice um, edifice. So from this same lobby you can access the third room upstairs. It has its own closet and its um toilet here. So this is uh, from this very big lounge you can access this terrace. This is very very nice. So that is um, the, the plans that I used to achieve this. So um, I'm just, I just want to answer most questions that my clients asked me when I posted this video. How I achieved the fin wall, how I achieved the lighting um, and other things, the coping and other things. So I just want to take you through a little brief how I achieved them, but not deep. With subsequent time, I will take time to show you how um, I drew the plan step by step for um, people that are not Revit friendly and Lumion friendly. So, but for this, it's just a quick brief, a quick brief on what I did to achieve this. So this three fin wall, someone asked me how I achieved this three fin wall at the front. This three fin wall is just a normal wall that I applied. I applied it on my level two. This is a wall, look at it, if I click on it, you see it is normal basic wall. But when I apply that wall there, I had to do, I had to click on this edit profile to edit the wall. I hope you understand. So I edited the wall to give me this C, this C shape. You know, I edited it to give me this C shape. I hope you can see very well, this C shape. You know, it's flexible, you can edit it to anything that you want, but it was this C shape that I did. Then you click OK, and you have that C shape wall there. And after that, I had to duplicate it into one, two, three places to give me this contemporary look. Do you understand that? So that's how I achieved these three thin walls. The same thing with this thin walls on it. You Note, know, this place is just an extrusion from the living room downstairs. Let's go to the floor plan. This is the little extrusion that extrudes out here. You understand? And after drawing it, this place and um, this place looks so so boring. So instead of instead of me leaving it boring, I just had to introduce the thin walls to on top of it. And after doing it, you can see it's very beautiful. It gave me this contemporary look. So the same thing that I did to so the front fin wall, I did the same thing here. I just had to, I just had to apply wall there. You can see it is normal wall. You can see it is normal basic wall that I drew there. So after drawing it, I just edit the wall. Like now, this is the wall. You click edit. You see, I just edited it to give me this L shape. Then I click OK. After that, I duplicated it into one, two, three, four, five places. Do you understand? That is how I achieved this wall on top of the dining and on top of the ground floor living room. As you can see, the job is very beautiful. So on your own, you can choose to do anything you like, anything that will make it look contemporary, anything that will make it look beautiful. You can choose to edit the world to form your own shape. 
I hope you understand that very level. So the second thing I want to show you is how I achieve this coping. This coping. This coping is very simple how I achieved it. I use the option called model in place. You will go to your level three or any level that your coping may be. You will go to architecture, you go to components, you click model in place. Then you can choose anything that you want to choose here. But I love using generic model. You click OK, then you choose sweep, sweep, sweep. I hope you are writing down the steps. You choose sweep. Sweep is what I used. Then you click on sketch path. When you click on this sketch path, you use this um, line to draw around all the areas. You understand that you want to sweep, that you want to apply that um, coping. Do you understand me? For the sake of my purpose, I just, my own, I drew from here to here, 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 and from here to here. So after drawing it, I edited it. And when I edited it, I achieved what I have here. For the coping. As you can see, it's very, very nice. It befits what I wanted to achieve. So I don't really know for you. You can choose any design of your own. But that is just how to achieve a coping. Then this, um, this little design here on the veranda, on the visitor's toilet at the veranda, I still use that same option to achieve it. Sweep. I still use the same sweep option to achieve it. You know, on the ground floor plan, the visitor's toilet extended out to the veranda a bit. Look at it. It extended out to the veranda, the entrance veranda a bit. So it was so boring. So I thought of what I could do here. So I just had to apply sweep. So I just went to the ground floor, like I showed you earlier, go to architecture, go to components, click model in place, click um, generic. I love using generic, or you can use any other. Then you click on sweep, same sweep. Then you sketch parts. Then you pick your line. And I drew from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, because those, those are the only area that I want to apply that effect. Hope you understand. You now click OK. You know, I have already applied, so I'm just, I just have to cancel. Then when, after doing that, you will now achieve you know, this contemporary look on the wall. You know, it looks so beautiful, you get. So that is how I achieved that. The same thing to this on the, on the gates. That's the same thing I did here. Still sweep, you can see. It goes round the column. So that's the same thing I did to achieve that. So um, what else, what else, what else? Yes, there's one more thing that I did that my client, um, most of my um, subscribers asked. This design on this wall is very, very simple how I achieve it. This is how I achieve this design on this wall. You, you, it is still at architecture. The option is still at architecture. Components, model in place. You can choose generic because I love using generic, like I said before. Then instead of choosing sweep this time, you choose extrusion. Instead of choosing sweep, you choose extrusion. So when you click on the extrusion, you pick your line and begin to draw any shape that you want. When you draw any shape that you want, of course, you edit and you achieve this. Then you will choose a different material for it. Do you understand? Architecture, components, model in place, generic model, extrusion, pick a line, draw whatever you want to draw and on that surface. Edit and you are good. So that is how I achieve this rectangular or triangular design on this wall. Same thing 
that I did here is the same thing that I did for this lighting here. You know, I have lighting here, this lighting on this fence and this lighting on the veranda. That is the same thing that I did. I went here, architecture, components, model in place, generic. I choose extrusion. And when I choose I, I when I choose extrusion, I didn't pick um this line, I picked this rectangle here and I drew it. You know, I drew it. Do not pick a plan. I drew it. When I drew it, I click OK. You know, I've already done it, so I wouldn't want to temper with this raw file. I already drew drawn it, so I wouldn't want to temper. So after drawing it, I choose a different um, material for it. So that's how I achieve this. And that's how I achieve this light and other thing. You know, if, if the lights will not bloom now, it is when I took it to Lumion that, you know, I applied the lighting effect. It looked like a rope light. So I don't know if there is option for it in Revit, but I love doing it in Lumion understand so you only model it you only put all those things here and when you take it to lumion you will be able to add other fancy things that you want to add so on the fence i think that is that for most of the models here yes i think that is that for most of the models here okay for the floor floor is very very simple if you want to apply floor in revit if you want to apply floor you will go to site plan Yes, you go to site plan. When you go to site plan, is you you will go to architecture. You will see floor. When you see floor, you click on it. When you click on it, you will pick a line, and you begin to draw any place that you want to apply your floor. You are you just draw around it and join. Sure, so you understand. When you draw it and join, you now click. You now finish it here. Then you apply your material. That's how you are going to achieve your floor. That's what I did to achieve my floor. So I think that is that for the main building. So I'm just taking us through briefly of on how I, I achieve this for most of us that are conversant with Revit and Lumion. But with time, I will still create time to make sure that I show us step by step from beginning to the end for those of us that are beginners on Revit and Lumion. So for this, I'm just doing this for the purpose of um, the questions I was asked in my platform so that you just have an idea in case you want to start something quickly. I hope you understand. So let's go to the gates. The gates, you know, I didn't just want to do a normal gates, normal square gates. So I just wanted something more contemporary. So this big column that is here, I made it to be triangular in shape instead of our normal rectangular. As you can see, I just made this shape. Understand? Then, then the other column, I made it just an I shape. As you can see, this is the triangular column and this is the I shaped column. Then I had to apply this slab. It is a floor on top of it. And you know, apply this one and apply wall, this one is wall, this one is floor, this one is floor. So I just combine it to form this shape on top of it. Then I had to apply this floor here and this floor here so that I'll be able to put my flowers here just as shown on the video, just as shown on the video area um, earlier, you can see, I put flowers here put flowers here so I put this thing here so I'll be able to put flower and I put this thing here too so that I'll be able to put my flowers on it so it's just a brain work on how I achieved it you can you know do your own the way you want it to be you can do your own the way you want it to be so that's how I achieved the model the main model then for these three things here on the face of the building I used extrusion to achieve it. The same way I, I did this lighting is the same way I achieved this. I went to architecture, I went to components, I went to modeling place, 
and I went to um, generic and I choose the extrusion. After choosing extrusion, I pick my line and I started to draw it. And after drawing it, I finish it and I duplicated it into three places. Then I put the material for it. So that's how I achieved these three things. So it's not that difficult. It's not that difficult for those of us that are familiar with um, Revit. It's not that difficult. So that's how I achieved that the main model. So other materials and video and other things, I did it in Lumion. So let's go to Lumion. After you might have done this very well, I downloaded a plugin here. I downloaded a plugin into my Revit that you know links my Revit with Lumion. So once I come here, Lumion inside my Revit, I will just click play. When you click play, it will export this into your Lumion interface directly. Once you click Lumion, you click play. It will export what you have modeled into your Lumion interface directly. So that's how I did it. For those of us that want to export model from Revit to Lumion, this thing is called um, um what do they call it? Life scene. This thing is called life scene, life, life synchronize. Life synchronize. So you can just enter Google and type life synchronize. That is for Revit and Lumion. The website will come out and you will just install it. You will use your system to download and install it and it will install automatically. That's how I got mine. It is in Google, it is not hidden. And it is very easy to install. So you click Lumion, click play, and it will take you, it will export the file directly into Lumion without wasting time. Then you will start to add your material. So this is Lumion, guys. This is Lumion. In Lumion, I will just apply the material anyhow I want it. So this is how to apply material. You come to this place, material. When you click on this material, you pick any material, all the model that you did in Lumion. You just click on the material. When you click on it, the material box, we have different types of material in Lumion. We have a lot, a lot. We have outdoor material. We have indoor material. We have various material, anyhow you want it. So when you click on your like this um, design, all this black black design, I put I put them in one material in Revit. So once I click one of it, it will automatically select all of that material because they carry one material name in Revit. Hope you understand. So I just pick it. When I pick it, I choose this marble material, this marble material for it. And that is how I achieve this. So even if I want to change it now, maybe to white, I can still click on it. You can see it has changed. You can see it has changed again. But for the sake of the study, I choose this model 011. And I achieved this um, nice look. Hope you understand. Then for this, um, for this light lighting, this is how I achieved it. You just click on that material. So, you know, I linked this material and this very veranda material. I choose one default material for it in Revit. So as I clicked it, it automatically clicked the material for it. And I choose this um, polish, the polywood material. So as I click on the polywood material i used an effect called um, emission to gloom it to make the light to gloom so you can see if, if i reduce this emission so you can see it turns back to normal material it doesn't look like a rope light again but if i increase this emission now it makes it gloom it, it now looks like, um, you see, you can extend it anyhow you want to extend it, depending on what you want to achieve. But for the sake of my our study today, I keep it low and as low as this. Not too shiny and not too dim to make it more realistic. I hope you understand that very part of it. So that is how I achieved that light in 
union is very, very easy. So let's go inside so that we can, we can show you other things, how I achieve them. I've already shown you how I achieve the lights. So for the material for the three thin walls on the veranda, I just clicked on the three thin walls. Of course, I gave them the same material name on Revit. So I just click on it. When I click on it, I choose the material for it. So in Revit, you have different types of material. So even if I wanted to change it, I can still change it to give it another material. You can see it has changed. Or even if I still wanted to change it to something more shiny, I can still change it. Or some maybe whitish, I can still change it. But for the purpose of our study, I think it was this one. No, it was not this one. I think it was this one. Yes, I think this one is more better. It gives it this realistic wood design. The same thing for the floor. So you just click on the floor. You choose a material for the floor. That is how I achieve this wooden floor material. So Lumion is very, very easy and friendly, depending on what you want to achieve. So that is how I was able to achieve um, all these things in a twinkle of an eye in Lumion. So in case you're a first timer, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Then I think I've been able to answer almost all the questions. I know this video is very fast, but I'll take time to create a better video. Starting from scratch, I'll take us a better tutorial on Revit. Starting from scratch, we export it to Lumion, and that will be on a fresh job, or maybe I can still use this very model to make it more easy, to make it more easy for us. So that is how I, I actually achieved this in Lumion. You can see it's more beautiful. It gives us this contemporary look um, design. So after I achieved this, Lumion has an option for both movie and photo. So you can snap any area that you want to snap, or you can record and create a movie, any area that you want to create a movie. So let's go to photo. Guess, let me just show you how to snap. So like this. Maybe if you want to snap this view, you can just rotate the way I rotated and keep it anywhere you want to keep. And you can come to any of this um, timeline, any of this timeline, and you can click on this place. You can just carry your camera a bit upper. You can see this tall camera. You can click on it and it will snap. Hope you understand. So you can choose to rotate it to any other place that you wish to rotate and Take your camera to an empty timeline, then click on this top camera and to snap. And once it snaps, you can snap as many as you want. Once you snap all your views, you can render it here. This, this is the option for rendering. Render photos. You just click on it and you choose your either you want to render prints, your desktop render, or your email. You click on it. You want to render everything at once you can click not like Revit that you render one by one you want to render all the photos that you snapped at once you can click on photo sets and you click on these prints and it will start rendering so the same thing if you want to do movie you can still go to that same place you see this movie at this very angle you can click on it when you click on movie when you click on movie you can you can, you know, start from anywhere you want to. Like now, if maybe I, 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 I want to create this movie. Um, okay, let me just create a new movie. Let me just create a new movie so that, uh, let me just show you something using a new movie now. Okay, this is a new movie. Let me just create a new movie. So like now, I want to create a new movie. You come to a new timeline. When you come to a new 
same line like this. You create record, you click on record. When you click on record, it will take you to a fresh place that you need to create your video. So before you click create your video, you need to set, you need to rotate and set your camera like this. You need to, you know, any way that you want to film, you can just rotate it to that very angle, that very position that you want to film. Then you just click on this plus sign, add camera keyframe. When you just click on it, that is where it will start to record. Then once you click on it, then you can now move either scroll to any place that you want to stop okay let's say i just want to start from this front view and enter the compound showing the front of the house so you, you just move forward scroll your mouse scroll your mouse inside once you scroll it inside like this you now snap you can now snap again because that's where you want to stop snap again understand add camera key for my friend so let's play and see what we just achieved. You click play. As you can see, from A to B. You know, as you can see, it's taking us gradually from the first position to the second position. So that is how easy it is to create a walkthrough with Lumion. So if you wanted to add other options, you can just you know position it where you want to. And just snap two places or three places or more places the way you want it and it will just create a simple video for you then you now click okay and this is the the option for rendering you can click render you can choose to render the entire movie or the current movie you can choose to create it a small you know a, a small um resolution or a higher render or a full hd you know you can just choose it anyone you want and when you click on it it will start rendering so guys that is um a, just a, a brief on how i achieved this um three bedroom contemporary architectural design for my clients and i hope i've been able to answer all the questions that you asked this is just a little brief on how i achieved them for i think this will be good for people that are friendly it's um, Revit and Lumion. And for those people that do not know Lumion and Revit at all, at all, uh, I'll create time to teach us step by step, gradual by gradual, on how I achieve this. So please, guys, if this is your first time here, kindly like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel, as this will help us to grow and give you all other subsequent videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. And stay tuned. Bye for now.